Welcome back to LA Tools course. In this week we will talk about uh, introduction to multimodal learning analytics. Multimodal learning analytics itself uh, can be a separate course uh, because we collect data from different channels or different modalities. Then we need to sync them and uh, apply learning analytics on them. But in this week I try to uh, motivate you what is multimodal learning analytics or at least how to collect data from different channels and uh, use them to uh, provide a feedback, affective feedback or personalized uh, content to the learners. So, you have seen how to collect data from different uh, learning environments like a classroom, online or uh, technology enhanced learning environments uh, in a week 2 uh, and you know uh, you, you would have used those data for um, solving some assignments or while reading to apply uh, machine learning models on the data. Now, uh, the, the question is um, the data we collected from this uh, log data or any data is that enough? Can we use that data to uh, you know completely uh, give a holistic approach of learner's behavior? Is that possible? Because what data we collected uh, in a classroom or online is students interaction with some particular system. For example, uh, in a classroom if you collect data from uh, Moodle, uh, you might be collecting data from students interaction with the Moodle. Or uh, if you are collecting uh, data from uh, uh, students observation or human observation that is perfect, uh, that is good. Um, but is there any more data we can collect uh, to understand the students behavior other than log data? So, assume that uh, you are uh, you are working on a tele based search environment and study and uh, you can collect log data in a tele like uh, metal we discussed. Uh, and uh, you can collect a lot of data. And uh, what are other sources of data we can collect uh, other than the students interaction with the system like the students clicks and uh, you know clicks and the actions they do. Other than that can we collect some other data to talk about learners, uh, learners learner behavior to model them. If yes what are the other data we can collect and how do you collect it. For example, I will say that uh, we can collect learners uh, facial expressions uh, by using web camera. So, think of it, uh, think about it other possible uh, data channels and what data you can collect. Pause this video, uh, write down your answers at least uh, write down 3 or uh, 2 um, channels of data and what data you are collecting then assume the video to continue. So, multi channel data is like uh, let us say I call the sensors or the data coming through a channel then I call it the multi channel data antics and sensors. So, we can use EEG signal analysis to measure the, the learners uh, cognition the brain waves um, or you can use um, you know webcam or other camera to detect students facial expressions. By using facial expressions we can see their emotions or we can um, capture the discussion with the collaborator or if the student is thinking aloud capture those and the noise the, the learner makes or the discussion they, they interact with the collaborator they capture those and those can be used to you know code them and you can do the discourse analysis on that. Or you can use wall mounted uh, biological sensors like uh, if you enter a room there are a lot of sensors in the, the side panels you know the in the in the walls that tells the uh, classroom environment like the temperature of all the students are they are they getting the postures different all these things can be observed. Or we can use eye gaze data for example, if the student is interacting with the uh, uh, you know um, computer or laptop or with some other object, where are they looking at? What are the focus? Are they looking at a particular place more actually are they looking at a figure like a figures to understand it better? Are they really reading something or just skimming through it? We can get those data from eye trackers. Log data can provide such as the student is in this particular page and is reading or looking at a figure. We are not sure what actually the students is doing. With eye gaze data we can tell that the students spend most time on you know uh, trying to understanding from the figure and also reading the sentences and uh, instead of reading a sentences uh, the student might be like a skimming to like going fast and checking it out not really reading. So, these data will add you know additional to the log data this is very important. 
and uh, you can also use GSR to measure the skin conductance like um, the student's uh, uh, attention or cognition can be detected. And uh, we can uh, use uh, Kinect kind of devices uh, which takes the you know um, camera and uh, multiple uh, two cameras actually. So, and it tries to mo uh, model your posture and gesture. So, yeah, these are the other ways to do that. Here is the sample I guess and GSR data that is collected on a tell environment. Student is looking at the eye gaze and it is student is looking at a different parts of the environment and you can see the eye gaze is overlaid on the video. Below the students GSR data. So, in this slide um, what I try to do is that uh, to motivate that there are uh, data we can collect from different channels and uh, collecting this uh, data from different channels will help you to model the learner better. Thank you.